There he is. Dick Masterson, welcome back to the kill stream, sir. How you doing? What's up, man? How you doing? What a crazy day, man. Uh, you know, people saying a lot of shit and then denying they said that shit. And then I have, you know, uh, corpulent uh, uh, law tubers telling me otherwise, etc. cetera. Um, Is Aaron done crying yet? <laughs> what did we do to him that was so me? bad? Is he... Is Nick going to boss him around their cell together when they're both in prison for cocaine and make him give him his, his apple juice and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> nice apple juice you got there, Aaron. Fork it up. I want to fuck it. Give me, your give me that juice. cornbread. Have you seen life? <laughs> like I fucked your wife. <laughs> <laughs> if only I could have got the kids out. Yeah, I could have done oh, so no. much more. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> What do you think about himself incriminating himself uh, for the past week straight? <laughs> what a fucking retard, man. What is, what is he doing? Oh, oh, but your honor, I needed clout. Don't you, don't you understand? I, I said I did all those drugs and had them around my kids, but uh, I was just doing that for clout. Don't you understand? It's yeah, well, Cowley. it's going to be hard to, to broadcast from jail. <laughs> I don't know. <have> <laughs> While well, he's getting fucking railed by Nick in the cell, <laughs> getting butt fucked by <laughs> Kata. <laughs> You're my wife now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit. Hard. He's making him, he's still making him make the food. It's just the jailhouse food. <laughs> <laughs> Sweep up. Sweep up, Aaron. Make my bed, Aaron. Make your own. Make now do it again. <laughs> I want these sheets to be so tight I could do a line off them. <laughs> Go out and meet your wife. She's going to bring in a... She's got a baggie you could shove up your ass to get bring in here, you bitch. <laughs> uh, I could have done more. Oh, she's totally changed. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, you sound great. Yeah. All right. Sounds fine. We're waiting on Stardust. She asked me, was it okay to stream, restream it on her channel? I said, yeah, it's fine. I don't think it'll, you know. Yeah. It should be fine. Um, all right. Um, the okay, guy was so. fucking pathetic, man. Like, I don't know. Like, he, he, he felt like he was, like, pretending to do a tell-all interview. Like, it felt like he saw what a tell-all interview was on television and then, like, is doing all these shows, just doing a mimic of that. Yeah, I... I don't know, man. Uh, and I, there's some inconsistencies with his story as well. Uh, stories. And he's incriminating himself. He's named in some of these documents right underneath suspects. <laughs> right? Uh, and uh, uh, <laughs> that's when you shouldn't be talking. And, okay, you're getting some super chats. You're getting some more viewers, dude. But you're putting yourself in legal jeopardy. Uh, and our lawyer friend that we both know, uh, I was like, it was bound to happen. Like with him going on all these shows, uh, that he ends up in legal jeopardy, uh, yeah. and then he's going to end up sp spending all that super chat money on <laughs> defense attorneys <laughs> is what's going to happen if he hasn't already. Uh, yeah. and so like, was it really worth it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I would say no, no. but, uh, um, I just talk, I talk about my life and I talk about the news and what do you know? The news happens to be about my life. Like, wow, man, that was really, that was really like profound. cute. The first fucking yeah. three times I heard it on every show. <laughs> oh, it's just my life in the news. And oh, what do you know? The news is my life. Also, uh, he, he claimed I set him up yesterday. They just, they came in organically. That was not a plan. Uh, now, of course, you know, it's Galveston and Perspic. I'm like, yeah, those, let's do it. Get the Let's get the team back together. Right. Uh, funny. yeah. Those guys are great. Yeah, we ran a train on him. Probably not the first time for him. All right, now, uh, <laughs> Stardust is here. Now, let me rearrange this. Stardust using her feet over, which I told her she could do. Um, okay, um, let me change the layout, though. Stardust uh, is in the middle where Aaron never got to be. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, you know, I'm usually just the referee on these sorts of things. Of course, I have my own opinions and stuff, but I'll keep those to yeah. myself. Uh, we were talking beforehand, uh, uh, though, and those, I'll leave that to the side. Uh, now, Stardust, you're here. Dick Masterson, you are here. Um, usually, I, I give the, the the two participants, you know, five, ten minutes to give their, their side, and then, you know, you guys just question back and forth. Um, hold on. Read dollars. Read Josh's depression post Wait, with I got Dick. A super chat. It'll be Kino. Uh -oh. Read read Josh's depression post with Dick. It'll be Kino. All right. At the oh, end, his live journal. 
Did Josh you see that? In live journal talking about he's yeah, the where he quotes Hitler, the same guy that wonders yeah. why uh, nobody will help him and his is quoting fucking Hitler. Yeah, way to go, no. Good yeah, job, it was really long, and it was about his struggles with depression and, and how that makes him have no sympathy for those who have depression. <laughs> right. I was okay. like, wow, okay, that's not psychotic <laughs> at all. Uh, <laughs> that's not the clear Fucking mark of a mode. psychopath, but okay, anyway. Um, Make it a little edgier. I, I quoted both Hitler and Shadow the Hedgehog in this. Fucking in this treatise that I stole from Andrew Tate about how depression is a choice. Okay, bro. Cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll leave it there. Maybe we have time then. I'll do a little read through. Um, now, uh, I'll let Stardust start off here. Uh, okay. So I think that makes the most sense. Hi, Stardust. Hi. How's it going? Good. 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 Long, long time I'm no see. How? Yeah, I'm not facing prison for 25 years. That's what I've been saying to myself all week. Well, at least it's not prison for 25 years every time I have to do something. Could get worse. Really. True, true, so true. Um, yeah, it couldn't be me, you know? Um, I Are guess you stealing my line, really... Sardos? Wait a minute. All right, anyway, go ahead. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's uh, one of my catchphrases. Yeah, well, I figured, you know, uh, you know, just to, uh, you know, like – just to celebrate, right? So, you know, I came prepared with my for my stream. Um, I hope you all came prepared with yours. Uh, so uh, please disregard the giant mountain next to me. Um, anyways, yes. uh, yeah. Oh, so you I got a really... bunch of coke there. I just saw that. Uh, <laughs> I actually didn't notice that was the coke until you said that, Stardust. Yes. Uh, well, all right. Nice touch. Snow bunny? Is that... uh, I don't think that I fall under that technical term. You have to be white mm. to be a snow bunny. Yeah. yeah. But, um... I think there's another very important thing you have to be. Uh, also, <laughs> okay, <right>? yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. Uh, uh, there's a super chat. Hold on. $2 on Rumble. Ralph, you and Dick together is perfect. Ralph, you Great and chemistry. Dick together is perfect. Great chemistry. Well, thank you. I appreciate Thanks. that. All right, now. Maybe go it's ketamine, though. I don't know. <laughs> go on. Go so, ahead, Stardust. Uh, I don't really have a, an opening statement. I just, uh, you know, I kind of for the first know time it. ever. You usually well, do. I took I took some notes, but like I figured it's Dick Masterson. Like we're probably just gonna, you know, go back and forth here. So, um, true. I mean, Dick, did you prepare an opening statement? Uh, just that I hope everyone who thinks Nick Rakita abused his kids uh, kills themselves. Okay. What What about just neglect? Uh, neglected his kids. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I guess. Yeah, the same same thing. Same thing. No, I don't okay. know. It kind of depends what you think about uh, what neglect is. I guess. I don't know. It, do you think the cops should have been involved in this, Stardust? Honestly, or any 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 of this speaking generally, like not just Nick's kids. Do you think the cops are uh, first step, so, second step, third step when it comes to parents and their kids? So so here's the thing. Um. The fact that there were multiple families kind of reporting to this pastor, uh, it kind of makes it like it kind of when the pastor goes and tells the police about this, that kind of makes it all that more credible. Um, and so the police have to get involved. Right. And, uh, you know, I don't think it's like any small thing that these kids are wearing the same clothes, um, you know, for three to four days or that they're complaining that they're hungry when they go to their preschool. Uh, you know, like, I just don't think that's a small thing. And it, I, it just feels like there's a lot of hypocrisy surrounding this whole thing because you've got, you know, Nick Ricada, who has a history of talking about how he wants to keep his kids homeschooled to protect them from, you know, whatever degeneracy on the outside. Well, bro, you're doing Coke and you ha you're swinging with your wife. Like, uh, like, what are you protecting your children from? Like, what is there left to protect your children from? And then on top of that, like, you can say what you want, you know, like, I agree, I agree with what some people are saying when it comes to, um, you know, older children taking care of younger children, right? That's something that happens. But when it's a 16 year old, uh, there's a huge difference between taking care of like one younger sibling and taking care of four younger siblings, right? Um, I was recently mm. helping a friend out taking care of their kids. And I was with three, right? And three of them was incredibly overwhelming for me. Like, uh, I can't even imagine for a 16 year old, like how four is. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I just think that there's a lot of hypocrisy in here. I think that, um, it, you know, whether you think the warrant was justified or not, they found what they found and the public has okay. the right to form their opinion on what happened. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, um, the public definitely has a right. Um, you got, you got two groups of people that um, I would put on the very, very, the very bottom of the pile. 
or when it comes to trustworthiness. And that's uh, that's church people and cops. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you've got a, you've got all of your evidence from the search warrant or anything, anything uh, relevant to child neglect comes from a pastor said that a preschool teacher told him that kids say they were hungry. Um, that's uh, made comments about the clothes. Yeah, and, and said that one of the girls, I think the, the whole thing came out today, and I think they said that one of the girls was wearing the same clothes. Um, I, when you compare this with, like, what actual neglect is and what, uh, what, what happened, you know, especially when you get into, like, the criminal uh, level of neglect, I think it's laughable to say that kids, that, that, that second, third-hand evidence of kids having said they were hungry uh counts as, as child neglect you've also it's got not a, just one person right it's multiple people it's like it's like four families have commented on it multiple people have seen it um yeah. people are commenting even on his streams he looks like he's not there and i you know you say that like oh you know the church is like the last people you should trust and generally i would agree with you because i you know i don't give a fuck about that but yeah. nick made the choice to he wanted to be part of that community. He made the choice to be part of that small church community. What oh, did he believe expect me, from if them? I could talk what did Nick he expect? Out of anything, I would talk him out of God. And this goes for all of the Zoom, all of you Zoomers that love saying Christ is King. Take a good hard look at what's happening to Nick because this is what happens in church. This is okay, this is what it's for. It's like thing. having a little government. It's like having a more oppressive government inside the one you already have. They but will he not protect this. you. He wanted this and he chose this. I don't know what he wanted, what else he expected. And my question to you, Dick, would be, who exactly will you trust a report from on Nick Ricada? Uh, I think if you go, definitely not somebody he's, he's mocking. Uh, definitely not a priest that he's, or a pastor that he's had run-ins with in the past. I would take a, a report that I trust, probably like a, a teacher with firsthand evidence who went to CPS uh and gave something to them and then i would i would be even fine with uh, child protective services going to the house doing an interview saying this is what we found in the interview this is what the kids were saying like normal this to me this uh somebody said that somebody said a kid said they're wearing the same shirt smells and isn't eating uh and some other people who happened to hire the ricada's ex nanny are also saying there's problems like to me this reeks of a um this reeks of a vendetta that a very small incestuous group of church people had against one guy who is who is essentially flouting God. You know, Nick's Nick's going online, talking a big game. He's uh, obviously living living hard. You know, for for lack of a better term, uh, they take this church people take this as an affront to their religion. Uh, they're going to stomp you for that, and they're going to do that by saying taking the hardest the the most punitive thing they can, which is you're a drug you're a drug user. Taking that to the cops and saying, "Go ahead, go take, go take our anger and invoke your divine retribution on this man who is essentially mocking us." Like religious people fucking hate that shit. That's what okay, I but think. It's happening. not. It's not just. It's not just like one person with a vendetta. It's multiple people. You've got um, the sister of Kayla. You've got the preschool teacher who probably doesn't give a fuck about whatever, you know, Nick is saying on stream. Then you've got, um, the ex babysitter saying things. These are all completely different people. You can well, you try have, to say you have her, you have her new employers. Like this is, this is why you're I think talking you about incestuous uh, relationships. What the fuck was Nick involved in this entire time? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing illegal. Uh, well, you know, not not uh, besides the coke. Um, yeah, I I think when it comes to church people, as soon as they start gossiping, like you're, we're supposed to learn this in school that you can't trust groups of people who start building a case against you socially because you're flouting social conventions. With which it seems like Nick definitely is to some degree. I mean, I still don't know. I don't know the whole story as much as anybody else. I don't know what the fuck's going on in the house. Other than that, the, other than that, there's yeah. two safes. With cocaine. Okay, them. how 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 fair is it? It's not just the safes though, right? If we're if we're gonna talk about that, right? Yes, there are safes, but there were items, paraphernalia that tested positive for cocaine that were on the nightstand, that were in the dresser. They were not in safes. There are things there that were not in safes. And even if these things were in safes, I would still say that it's a problem given how he was acting on stream, given how um the 16-year-old is being put in charge of four younger siblings, which is just not fair. Um I mean, not that's fair. normal though. That's not criminal. It's not. No, it's not normal. Put in charge of kids when you're on a date night. 
four that younger happens children, all the time. you so get I, a babysitter. You're rich enough to get a babysitter. Uh, you go and get a babysitter. Do not get, if you have a 16 year old at home, you do not invite a potential a four, child molester uh, into your house to four watch your kids. I'm sorry, I'm a full grown adult, okay? And I had trouble with three, okay? Yeah. You've, got, you've got a 16 year old taking care of four younger children. How is it fair for them? How well, what does, does that matter? This does is a lot of this. Know how to cook? A lot of this comes down to, to, to one at a time. One at a time. A lot of this time. comes down to is this criminal or do you think you could have just done a better job as a parent? So, what you're all this? Uh, it's not fair to put a for a 16 year old kid in charge of a bunch of little kids while you go to a casino or something like that. It's really um, it, there's nothing nothing criminal about that. Having a bunch of having a, a credit card with some coke residue on it on your nightstand. That shouldn't, that's not a police matter. Okay, this is, as far as I'm concerned, all the cocaine should, all of these drugs should be they, legal. Wait, There's they, nothing they, more they, dangerous about that. Having, we're not talking about what should be with the law. We're talking about what is. And the fact is, is that they were doing coke in the same bathrooms where the kids go and wash their hands. You don't know so that. So I think there's a problem How do you, here. Wait, 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 wait. You don't know that. Oh, okay. So do you know that they don't wash their hands there? Like, uh, like it's a, a house full of five oh, kids. Wait, They're going to be all over the house. I want to say this. I, I, I I thought it was the master bedroom bathroom, but I, I'm not for sure, so I, I won't dispute either way. But I, I did think that, but either way. You, uh, if you don't think that little kids, like six and seven year olds, are crawling all over your entire house, like, you know, I got news for you. Well, I don't know that. I don't know when the cops are kicking in my this door at eight in the morning. I don't know what the state of my house the usually Church is. Would never um, there's a lot of dangerous the substances around the house. It's kind of up to the parents to make sure the kids don't get in them. Or right. But if you are passing not... out, like, I don't know. The, I'm sorry. The level of gone that Nick has displayed on stream is... Uh, you know, that's, uh, again, a part of the issue is that kids will walk in on their parents passed out or they'll walk mm -hmm. in on really bad. That's why um, there's all of these things in place to protect children. And I'm all for individual liberty, but you have to take into account individual liberty of people who cannot advocate for themselves, children. And that is why we have the laws that we do for them. No, we do not have drug laws to protect children. We do not have 25 years in prison for an ounce of or a, a, an ounce of cocaine to protect children. It's to punish drug dealers. It's, but it's, drug okay. users. Daniel Larson not yes, because they, because they, they spend actually, my parents actually spend it to your house, all the time interview in the kids, kid and I see if there's fine. anything going wrong, send the parents to parenting class or cocaine class or alcohol class. Right. At no point should cops enter into this because cops do not protect kids. It's not their I job. Do not th there to I, I do not think... I do not think that this for a first time offense that Nick is going to go away for 25 years. If I'm being real with you, I think Nick will probably be okay if he goes and he gets some help, gets uh, into rehab Are you or something that? like that. Can you that? sign a contract that says I really don't think Nick's going to prison? I'm sure that'll I'm sure that'll really mean a lot. I mean, we're talking about personal opinions here, right? You just stated your personal opinion. Oh, he yeah. shouldn't go to he shouldn't go away for for 25 years. Well, I'm saying, well, my personal opinion is I don't think he's going to. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Still, besides the point is that yes, the drug laws when when you've got children living in your house, five kids in your house. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, your children do know what you're doing. They do. They know what you're doing with your your spouse. They know what you're doing with that other couple. They know when you're high or drunk or both. It is so very cool. obvious, and it is, and it's kind of fucking weird for the kids that they oh, probably feel weird, really weird like, about it. Where is the line between I don't like this, this is weird, and these guys need to go to jail? These because guys need to send too much a responsibility the... on a sixteen-year-old to take care of the other. I mean, like even where the does, fact where that they the cops wait, started, why, the cops why, why are one the parents one not? Time. Why are the parents? Uh, hold on, a semester why? thirty-three cent one, one dollar one time. rumble. It's okay. Based, where do I sign up for cocaine class? Why is Aaron? Why was Aaron saying that um, the only food that he was feeding them was SpaghettiOs? Because he's a, a cuck F slur. Okay, that's why, a... are the ki why are the hey, kids hey, saying hey, hungry no, At school? least let me get my fucking yeah, joke yeah. out, all right? Come <laughs> on, Star. <laughs> okay, if he's a cuck F slur, so is Nick Ricada, okay? What the fuck is a ball, though? It sounds like something for somebody with hair loss. Like, it sounds what, like, like you're pissed off about their lifestyle. I it sounds like look, everybody's pissed about their lifestyle and letting that I bleed over into the I wouldn't care if they were kid. swinging and they didn't have kids in the house. And they but were again, doing coke and they didn't have kids you, in the house. That's what you care about is that it's a, it's a drug that you specifically don't like, probably because it's illegal, which is just as bad as alcohol. Or I don't think alcoholism Xanax is acceptable either. Other.
Well, that's that's 20, 200 million Americans have alcohol in their house with access to kids. alcoholism. And uh, how many like, look, uh, alcoholism is specifically what I said. I don't think that's acceptable. Uh, why were the kids saying they were hungry at school? Who knows if they were? Kids say they're hungry all the time. They're have you never been around kids? They're retarded. They say kids will kids will have a full lunch unless oh, I'm hungry. I got nothing to eat. I say, well, what about that? Well, I don't want that. Like they say, they say total nonsense. Um, you can't take. You can't. You definitely can't take third hand. The kids said to me this to me at one point. It's multiple uh, people. But it's not. It's just that one preschool teacher who said it after after. The nanny started gossiping with her new employers, and then that started this whole let's gossip about Nick Ricada, who's obviously drunk, talking shit about church. Uh, let's get him. Let's get this guy. Every, everybody be on the lookout, right? And then all of a sudden, everybody starts seeing problems. Oh, yeah, these kids. Oh, man, these kids are definitely getting neglected. Uh, Pastor, you got to do something. You got to do something. Okay, well, I'm not going to talk to him, but I will anonymously call the police and it, not give him How do you know that he up. didn't talk to them? How do you know he didn't talk to them? Because Nick was arrested with an ounce of cocaine. You don't think. <laughs> Do you think if somebody's an addict, if somebody's an addict, does any amount of talking to them help? Uh, does any amount of calling the cops on them help? Sometimes it does when you have a court mandated order to go to therapy or go, you know, into a, a drug program. Yeah, yeah sometimes yeah. it does. Therapy. No, no, I know that's your guys' solution for everything. Fucking therapy and rehab. Okay, my question then, what is, what is, do you think that Nick has a drug problem or an alcohol problem? I don't know. Um, maybe if he thinks he does, he does. He would be the he would be the one to to say that. I don't know. I don't like um, I don't like trying to 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 pin uh, other people's alcoholism or drug problems. He's in here. I'll tell you what. If he gets uh, he's out of bail. If he goes back for dr for drugs, then he's got a, a drug problem. Okay. Um, so you don't think that he has a drug problem. You don't think that he has a drinking problem. I don't know. I don't know on either of those. He gets pretty shit faced on stream. That's probably not, that's probably not good. Uh, he got busted with a, an ounce of cocaine. I think he's got a bigger government problem than he has a drug problem right now, but I don't know. Maybe this, when all this is said and done, he can uh, sit down and think about it. I don't really think it's relevant. Okay. Um, I think it is relevant. Do you think that a, a parent who has a drug and alcohol problem is going to be firing on all, you know, on, on full cylinders, all full cylinder? I, I don't know if I'm using that phrase pr properly, but to take care of five kids in the house? Probably not. But okay. it's legal or it's, it's legal for a lot of drugs. Um, it should be legal for all of them. If there is, if there is any kind of neglect, that's a CPS issue. Maybe you send them in. As I said, do some interviews, but we're not there. My my problem with it is that people are celebrating the arrest, and I think you are too. Like it's a. Like, I'm not celebrating the could, arrest. Like I'm this absolutely could lead to not. Help. This will I help actually, them somehow. I actually like Nick Ricada. Um, I thought um his coverage on the Kyle Rittenhouse stuff was really good. Um, I don't know him uh personally. I don't know what he's like, but I when it comes to anything involving children, I think that that is a different case. I think that when it comes to children and you are getting high and drunk uh, to the point where like everybody can see you on stream and knows that there's an issue there. Um, and that, you know, these kids are saying that they're hungry, that they're wearing the same clothes for multiple days. You, these are kids who are like seven, eight, nine. I don't know. You, these are kids that you should be making change their clothes, helping them take to change their clothes, take showers, you know, keep themselves hygienic, things like that. These are kids that you, if they're not eating what they, they don't want to eat on their plate, you make them eat that because they have to. What are you doing when your kid is going to school and they're saying that they're hungry? I think you've got, um, you've got this magical feather of they are saying that they're hungry and that they're not changing their clothes and that they stink. And the reality of that is it's just some, some pastor who doesn't like Nick said that a preschool teacher said that, which to me means absolutely nothing. May maybe it's true, but I take the statement of the pastor saying, the pastor who also complained at the same level that Nick frequently walked out of his sermons. He also said, uh, this is at the same level for him. I, I totally discount what the pastor says, of the kind of pastor who would also not tell Nick that he called the cops on him, uh, and a preschool teacher who would not bring this up to them in any other capacity. I just don't buy it. And uh, the way everyone's run with a with the word of this guy and the word of the police uh, over over a normal dad, not just Nick, but 
any parent, I think is bullshit. Uh, mandatory reporting is extremely flawed. It's something like, it's like less than 10% ever leads to anything because kids talk shit and people are very vindictive. People but lie. That's not a good argument. That's not a good argument at all. Uh, that like in 95 percent of the time, this that it re, it's it, to, it turned out to be bullshit. That's a good that's thing. A very that's a good, good thing. Mandatory mandatory reporting is meant to be that way. You go and you investigate, and then turns out nothing is there. That's fine. Well, in fact, we still criticize CPS for letting too many things fall through the cracks. Like, what else would you want them to do? I think mandatory reporting is great, and you, you go and you investigate, and if it doesn't turn out, that's fine. That's totally fine. I think that's great. It's not what happened here, is it? No, they had a reason to, for whatever reason, you know, uh, bust down the door. I want to know what that is. Because yeah. an ex-lover brought up a stream and said, oh, look, there's uh, there's some cocaine on his nose. I mean, this is, it's it, it's ridiculous. An ex-lover. It's CPS. Yeah, Aaron. Who, who are you talking Are you talking about Aaron? Okay. Spaghetti right. man. But it's not, <laughs> it's, it's not just Aaron. This, it, like, this wasn't even Aaron by himself. This was the pastor who received multiple reports from multiple uh, people in the church. No, let me say this. Nope. Let me say this. It's it's the pastor, but they also cite um, podcast or, you know, live stream evidence uh, from Aaron and Holt. Live stream, uh, yeah. Well, they use that as part of their probable cause search for the search warrant, the live streams from Aaron M. Holt and Nick Ricada. Um, so you're right. The pastor is part of it, uh, but they do cite the, the streams as part of the, as part of their, Probably yeah, and the streams are excellent evidence. Absolutely. Do you excellent think, evidence? Man, do you agree with that, Dick? I do not. I do not want to live in a world where a bunch of gossiping hens from church um, can send a guy to jail because they don't like the way he's acting. And uh, I think it's a shame that uh, most of the internet will jump on board someone who cannot legally can't defend himself. You know, every time Nick talks. Every bonehead with a stream who benefits from maximizing the attention they're getting to this uh, reprimands him and tells everyone how stupid it is that Nick says anything. You've got parents who are um, even even in this own even in, in the uh, the search warrant, right? Even based on that, they're doing fine, and they are unable to respond to any of this because of the massive and uh, and one sided pressure that the police have on them. I think it's bullshit. Uh, okay, I, I have a few. Here. I have a few questions. Right, um, I have a few questions. Okay, so do you think? So we we've established that you agree that somebody who is using an excessive amount of coke and alcohol probably isn't capable of being the best parent, right? And you're saying well, it's, it's not be, illegal. They're going to be. Worse. What should be illegal? What should be illegal in that case? Beating your kids, uh, raping them, doing something criminally. Not feeding them? To harm Do you think them. not feeding uh, them should no, be? It's not, no, 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 because then poor people all go to jail. I mean, actually, you know, there's going to be a lot of people who say all poor people should go to jail, but I'm not one of them. Uh, right. But when you before. talk, you were just talking about um, how many cases um, uh, are determined to not be anything uh, mm -hmm. from CPS, uh, mandatory reporting cases. A lot of those, the reason why they turn out that way is because those are poverty related. When we're looking at Nick Ricada, it is not poverty related. But nothing has happened. When we're looking at Nick Ricada, we've got the past looking at somebody who of some fucking of some fucking preschool the teacher. Children, the children were complaining to the preschool teacher. You don't that know that, hungry. Star. You do not know that. You know that a preschool teacher said, "Yeah, the kids said they're hungry," and she didn't even go to the cops with it, which she which she actually is ma um, uh, mandated to do. The pastor she went to the did pastor. it. Yeah, but you, you know not, that, no, that is anything that, that indicates to me. Man, you are not supposed if, to do that if, as a that reporter. Indicates, if that indicates anything to me, that means that Nick Ricada was so tight with this church group that they were really hesitant to go forward about this stuff. Wait, what? <laughs> Anonymous sent no. if, the, if the preschool Scotty teacher Shuffler, if you did, yeah. not, the did not did not do the mandatory reporting. And it was a pastor who eventually did it after multiple reports. That indicates to me, to me, that they were actually hesitant to uh, report this to the police. Yeah, it's wild how this mandatory uh, reporting stuff. You guys kind of pick and choose when it's a must and when it's not. Um, if she should have heard, oh, if no, she heard something, she, she should have gone she to the, have. she should have gone to CPS or the she cops or whatever. Absolutely, I agree with you. But she, but we're talking. You're talking about like this is a conspiracy. I actually yes. think 
that they were, I actually think that they were probably holding off on the reporting. power of foresight to predict that um, Nick would have an nah, ounce well, of coke and a baggie why? of heroin in his room. Well, you why do you yourself think said it. You yourself said it. The preschool teacher didn't do the mandatory reporting like she was supposed to. No, no, no. You are not. Uh, I don't think that that's a mandatory reporting situation. I, th I think that once the rumors started going around. One. Yeah, but I don't, I don't. technically a mandatory a kid, reporter. No, I don't think a kid saying I'm hungry is a mandatory reporting situation. I think once Them poison, being hungry plus wearing the same clothes for three to four days and getting off a smell. Yeah, I think that's uh, mandatory reporting. Yeah, <laughs> what are, are you? A, you have a lot of experience in a mandatory reporting situation or around little kids? Um, Just does it no, matter? I know you don't. Yes, because does it you matter? don't have any fucking idea the way little kids are. So yes, it does. Yeah, I matter. know how little kids are. I just told you I was taking care of three of them. And at you the were same so time. overwhelmed, you can't even imagine doing it. I know. I heard a it. A sixteen-year-old doing it? Yeah, I a sixteen-year-old. I actually think if the preschool teacher had thought it was serious, she would have gone, but she didn't. It got bullied out of her by the pastor. That's what Wait, I really you think. Got bullied out of her by the pastor. What yeah, yeah, evidence do you be, have for that? Have you not seen what do you, what do you know star? about the pastor? Could, do you know the pastor personally, Dick? I know that. Yeah, I know that he believes in an in a bunch of imaginary bullshit. I know how pastors are. I've seen okay, just because he believes they're, in imaginary bullshit. I might think you're a fucking idiot, and I still, I still, um, you know, I'm still listening to you speak. You I know? only it believe doesn't... in shit that I see, though, Star. I don't make it up. I, I'm not speaking on behalf of an omnipotent deity, am I? That's how okay, I know do you, he's a cocksucker. Do you, do, you, do you believe in? Do you believe in gravity, Dick? Yeah, I'm okay. observing it right now, watching Can, this uh, argument fall. Okay, can can uh, yeah, I, I I observe it with your ass getting fatter every day, you stupid fuck. Um, so, wow. Okay, let me let me let me ask you a few questions here, okay? How often do you work out? How often do I work out? Yeah. None of your fucking business, you, you oh, dumb fuck. Okay. Never... Okay. Um. So how? Okay. What is this baldo thing? By the way. Uh, I think it's it's like a hollow dildo you stick your nuts in and then put in a woman. It sounds okay. it sounds painful. It sounds like a medieval torture device. It does. Um, wait, wait, wait. So let me ask you something seriously. Yes. Do you not think? Do you not think that um, small t small town churches can be a little little gossipy and incestuous? I don't have the experience, but I've heard people say as much. But I Have think you read the that Scarlet that is, Letter? I read the Scarlet Letter. You read yes. the Scarlet Letter. Okay, remember what happened there, right? That I like remember that. I remember what happened there, but that was that was a long time ago. You know, uh, yeah, when that was written. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and also, I would say. Nick chose that community. He valued that. He wanted that. It's tough to pull your family out of things, though, right? Like you don't, you don't always expect no. you're gonna, you don't always expect the Spanish Inquisition. You know, you don't I know you're gonna get that it's tougher over to get badly. over a coke addiction. So you know, like well, feel bad going to there. prison doesn't help with a coke addiction. I don't. I, uh, I hope he's not gonna go to prison. Honestly, I hope he's not. I hope he. I hope they give him um, the ability to get clean and mm -hmm. uh, you know work towards getting his kids back. Um, my my second question is like, have you tried the baldo before? No, no, I okay. I, I tried, but they didn't have one in my in my size. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, uh, I guess. Do you think? Do you think that? Do you think at least a little bit that maybe this that maybe a pastor could have an axe to grind against a guy that's like, um, getting a little wild online and having sex capades? Like, do you think that runs in a pastor's blood? This kind of stuff. I'm sure it could happen, but yeah. I think the fact that there are multiple people named first and last name in this, I think mm -hmm. is, uh, you know, and Kayla's own sister is one of the people who is expressing concern. I think that, that says something. No. Yeah. No, I know. Um, what if they're wrong, though? What if the kids were fine? If the kids or are what? fine, then it's fine, right? But then I would ask you. Yeah, it, like if the kids are fine, they will figure that out in investigation and it will be fine. But my question is- Now, wait a minute. Wait, you, wait, 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 wait. Do you think that's what the cops do? Do you think their goal is to find the truth? Or do you think their goal is to put people in prison? Um, I think it's a, I think that's complicated. That's up to the courts, really. Um, <sighs> that's kind of a big my, sticking point of mine. My like question for you is, what if, uh, my question to you is like, what if everything that was said about Riketa is true? Then what? What would you say about that? <sighs> okay, let's see. What's, so his kids are, how many times are his kids going hungry? And going to school in dirty clothes once or a lot? A lot. Let's say let's say it's a lot. Um yeah, I and that I, he's and that he's not taking care of he's not, you know, feeding them regularly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um yeah. Um I think I think my only sticking point here is that the police should never have been involved and that 
the cocaine is the same as any other prescription or non-prescription drug in the house. And that I would be fine. I think ideally that's how all of these should be treated. And I wouldn't care at all if that's how this were treated. If, if there had been a, a CPS visit and it would have been embarrassing for Nick and everybody would have made fun of him, I would not feel anything at all. But when the cops are involved, um, it's pretty much the that's pretty much the worst thing that uh, that can happen, in my opinion. They don't they don't ever help. Um, do, you, do you think that Nick would have deserved to have his like children placed in a safer place while he at least if all these things were true about him? Uh, no. Well, it depends. It depends on the condition of the house. Even the police report, the house seemed fine. So, no, like I know guys who it wasn't I, fine. Yeah, there was dirty dishes. That's and that I mean, there's dirty dishes and it was cluttered. Like the as entire as, house was in disarray. Right. So, no, that's I mean, that's stuff on the floor. That's like nothing. There's uh, the kids. I've known kids who got taken away from their parents when the the electricity bill hasn't been paid in four months, when there's literal holes in the wall and mm -hmm. when there's no zero food in the house. Uh, if there was if the house was like in a ramshackle of state, um, they would have written they would have I mean, they would have made it seem like Oliver Twist. That's what cops. Cops always lie about the state the kids are in because it makes the presumed innocent people indefensible. Like they do this on purpose. So we start telling these narratives in our head about the well, parents. they judge based on they judge also they judge based on like the, um, you know, um, how affluent like the parents are right um, there are some things with poverty that are just going to be inevitable they're going to be less things than a person who is living in poverty in their house but yeah. um, when it comes to somebody who is as well off as Nick Ricada who has the ability to hire a nanny who has the ability to she ratted have him food out. she the nanny quit working there and went to the new couple see here's here's you got to read that thing this is I mean this is you'll maybe you'll find this interesting the nanny quit she goes to work for a new couple at the church and then the couple rats out what the nanny said to them, to the pastor. Don't you think that's a little odd? But it's not just them. Again, it's not just them. It is a preschool teacher. It is Kayla's sister. Yeah. Multiple people. I don't know. Maybe I know Maybe I know too much about how white people in middle America work to, to believe any of these cocksuckers. Um, I mean, maybe. I didn't grow up with that environment, you know, but... Um, yeah, I, I personally, I think that when there are multiple people making these reports and they're naming them first and last name, I think that there's probably something there. And they now all want it to be anonymous. Don't you think that's odd? Everybody wants no, to be anonymous. No, I don't think that's, I don't think that's odd at all when you're dealing no? with like people who, no, I think when oh. you're dealing with people who are addicted, they get very vindictive. Yeah. Have you, have so. you uh, dealt with a lot of addicts? Because I have. Dealt with, I've dealt with a few. Yeah, I've dealt with a few. Yeah. So. Would you tell them when you called the cops on them? It depends would on the you? situation. It what depends if they, on the what situation. What if it was just for possession? What if they had kids? Would you tell them, hey, I called the cops on you? Or would you just let them get picked up? Um, it depends. It, again, it's going to depend. Are they, like, What are they doing in the house? Doing drugs. Are they, they're doing drugs if they're passing mm -hmm. out. And yeah, I've had a, I've Hell, had a yeah. few talks with them. I've had a few talks with them. Like, hey, you got to get this in in line. Yeah. Um, if you know, I've had the few talks with them. Then I'm probably not going to tell them now. Oh, you're going to report them to the cops and not tell them. Yeah. Oh my God. <sighs> By yeah. the way, let me ask this question. Uh, I'll ask all the supers at the end. Uh, but Kay they're saying Kayla's sister's not a source. She was mentioned. That's been spun. I I, I don't think she's a source for this. Actually, myself either. She just mentioned. Uh, in the report, I don't know that she actually and talked by to the, the way, police. The A-logs are trying to spin it that way, but I don't know that that's the case. Um, the pastor said specifically there was no abuse or danger to the kids. Um, no, Im no immediate, right? Um, no immediate, right? That that mean. means like there's nothing. They're they're not at risk of being like you know beaten up like right now, right? If they stay there another day, they're not going to get beaten up. That's that's kind of what that means. It can still be a risky situation, you know, like that they're not getting fed regularly or they only have SpaghettiOs in the house. Now, here's a question yeah. I could ask, though, that would be good and to keep it going. Uh, it says, does Stardust think, and I'll read them all at the end, but does Stardust think the kids would be better off with Nick or in a foster home? They wouldn't be in a foster home. They would be with family, right, where they what are right now. What happens to family? 
then obviously, you know, you would want you wouldn't want them to be in a foster home. But like generally, uh -huh. the way that because it, it's it's you wouldn't you know you want them to be with family. You yeah. want them to be with family, and and so usually in these cases, they the the court and the state do are they are preferential to those kids being placed with other family members, not just put in a foster system because they know that's hard for for children too. Do you think there was no food in that house? Um. Not no food, but clearly not enough. And there were there were people who were not feeding the kids. So yeah, I mean, really, because I don't I don't believe it yeah. at all. I'll be honest, I don't believe if cop says it, I believe the opposite. Um, you don't think a they got multiple older kids in the house? You don't think if the little kids are hungry, the older kids are gonna give them food? Well, this, the older kids have activities too, right? Like they can't be there all the time. I mean, I guess yeah. It, it's six a sixteen year old can if somebody if one of the kids gets hurt, can the sixteen year old drive that kid to the hospital? Yeah, like. Yes, of course. Yes. No, they can't. They can't. <laughs> what are you talking well, about? Driver's license. Uh... I had a younger sister. We had, stuff happens, man. Your parents got to work. You take. Yeah, but then the rest of the work. kids, the rest of the kids, then are left unsupervised. <laughs> yeah. When was the first time your parents left you alone? At home. Uh, pretty. I was pretty young. Actually. Pretty young. So, yeah, yeah. So it's no big deal, right? Um, Nine, I only ten. had I only had one older brother, and he was significantly older, and so. Oh, uh, that's where all this tension between us is coming from. I see now. What do you mean? Because my sister was younger. <laughs> Reliving. I have a I have another question. Do you think do you think yeah. that Nick is a uh do you think that Nick is like a sex addict based on what he's doing? Oh, a sex addict? I don't maybe if he gets another girl in there, he'll be a sex addict. <laughs> I don't know. Two. Two is pretty normal. Um, okay. Oh, what do you think of, of like Nick? Maybe do you think he, he's like actually like polyamorous or whatever or po whatever the fuck it's called? Uh, I don't, I have, I have trouble with that label. Uh, is he's doing, is he doing wife swapping? She, here's part of the problem too. But it's not wife swapping anymore. No, I don't. Well, yeah, but I don't really believe, I don't believe everything that guy Aaron says. So, uh, I'm going to have to wait until Nick comes I'm not out going based off of what, stuff. I'm not even going based off of what Aaron says, right? Aaron and, um, whatever her name is, we're already in the process of getting a divorce, right? Yeah, Um, right. you know, and we know that April was, um, staying there, uh, based on one of these reports that, uh, Kayla said that technically April was the live-in nanny or whatever. Yeah. Um, and we know we're in the master bedroom. That's true. Yeah, they were. <laughs> and, yeah. and so, you know, to me, that looks suspiciously like a polyamorous uh, relationship. Yeah, maybe, so. maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. What do you think of poly relationships? Um, well, when they go bad, you generally don't want, don't want to end up in prison, I think. Is what I think about poly relationships. Sure, but what do you what do you think like besides the prison shit, you know, with the drugs and the kids, what do you think of poly relationships? They generally end faster than normal relationships. <laughs> I would say. Yeah. Would you be in a poly relationship? Uh no, that would be that would be crazy. I'm far <laughs> too old to be in a my heart couldn't take it at this age. Yeah, you don't want to get cucked, right? You don't want to <laughs> trade your wife well, with that's people. Not, I mean, that's I don't you don't what want to trade your wife exactly? with other dudes, right? Oh no, fuck no, 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 definitely exactly. not. Exactly. Isn't isn't wife swapping just technically being a cuck? You're letting know. another dude fuck your wife. You might be fucking her, his I wife, but know. you're letting him yeah, fuck hers. Yeah, but you yeah, know yours, about it. You know? These guys, they love it though. They go to like they love getting cucked. Parties. That's okay. They love nah. getting cucked, and that's fine. But yeah, maybe don't fine. do that with kids in the house. With five kids in the house. Uh, yeah, but then you got like uh, then you got some couples that are like like teaching feminism and stuff to their kids that's way worse do you Don't really you think, think that feminism is on the same level as watching your dad get fucked <laughs> are you kidding me watching dad get fucked by what another woman or something i don't, getting I don't him know getting cucked getting watching your dad are, get cucked uh, watching sorry. your mom go to another dude you know like i think kids fuck, are pretty dude. resilient now I mean, we don't I'm know not, that they I'm actually saw them the kids fucking, the kids absolutely the knew maybe they didn't see it but they absolutely oh, the, knew oh star see now now your uh Puritan children know children know well, you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, I walked in and saw, and I walked in and saw my dad taking off his, uh, you know, Mickey Mouse furry helmet. Oh no, I'm scarred for life, right? Like, who cares?
I mean, look, uh, uh, if you're okay with that kind of behavior, watch some kid knowing that these two couples are hanging out and their dad is letting their mom get railed by another dude, then, you know, that's that's fine by well, you. Well, I'm not know? doing it, but what am I going to sit here and, like, pretend that I just maybe, give so maybe, much of a shit about other people's kids? Because I maybe don't. You don't let the, maybe you don't let the kids be exposed to that. I don't know. Exposed to letting, it's not just, it's not, it, these kids are exposed to their dad letting their mom get railed by another dude. <laughs> and on top of that, they're exposed to their dad getting blackout fucking pissed drunk and like high and yeah. not knowing what's going on and seeing fucking ceiling cats. Well, that's like, America. Like, what do you want? It's, that's the way it works. America. That shouldn't be America. Well, it fucking is, Star. I don't. Uh, what, what do you want us to do about it? Throw everybody in jail? Fucking yell at them some more I'm, for I'm getting saying, too like, drunk? For a guy, Nick Riccato is one of these guys who went off about Keffels and, uh, you know, uh, you know, um, DIY oh, hormones. Wait, no, no, which, by the way, you. I have a problem. I have what? a problem with two. Okay? okay I have hold a on, problem hold on. with that shit, what? too. Let him but wait, 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 you're going to have a problem wait, 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 wait. with hold that, on. and you're not yeah. going to have a problem with him doing coke in, you know, All right, in now, the house. I don't have a problem with Keffels. Wait, do you think that kids should be on puberty blockers? I don't know enough about puberty blockers to say, but I don't, I don't know. Would you rather rather a 10 year old be on puberty blockers or cocaine? Jesus Christ, dude. That's a good question, right? Um, (laughs) (laughs) What I would say, I am not okay with the DIY hormones either. Okay. And if you hold that stance, why the fuck, if you're not okay with DIY hormones, why the fuck would you be okay with this dude doing Coke and alcohol in in the same house as his kids. Why? Well, he's not making them take. He's not making them no. take DIY cocaine. What are you talking about? No, but they're not making these kids take DIY hormones either. No, I I actually don't. Uh, I don't give a shit about the DIY hormones. Like, oh, okay. I, I mean, if, I, if if you're like 12 years old, I think you should. Somebody should probably step in. But you know, I'm not going to pay them to do it. So what do I really care? Um, it's still it's all it's all just drugs and chemicals around the house. Um, I don't give a shit about any yeah, of that. But you, the part of this oh, thing is like you're hormones, letting whatever. you're letting um you know part of the sex thing is like one of the things that parents are supposed to do is protect their children from uh, protect their children from like um all, other adults having access to their children. Right, mm-hmm. that's one of the main things you're supposed to do as a parent. You don't let just random dudes or random people, random adults have access to your children. When you start opening your relationship and doing swinging and engaging in this kind of like poly shit. You're kind of doing that, and that's not safe for any kid. And then you're doing coke on top of it. What if they walk in on you fucking passed out and naked? What if they walk in on multiple of you passed out? What if they see your mom again getting railed by another dude or or passed out after that? Well, what's gonna happen is the end of the fucking world. I mean, I'm not saying do it, but like everybody's working themselves into this like towering puritanical fury over shit that might happen. I don't think it's really relevant. Other than just making fun of Nick. I don't think it's really relevant. What's relevant is the illegal search and seizure of his house, or at least the unjust search and seizure of his coke. Um, That's what I have a problem with. I don't think the two are really related. One is just like, oh, you're making a new like you're making a new writer by traumatizing your. Who cares? The kids see their coked out parents banging each other. Okay, that's that's it happens. (laughs) (laughs) What are you gonna do? Their dad getting real. Their their dad. Alcoholics in the United States. uh, Yeah, and I disagree with that. I disagree with that. I don't like that. Well, so did the pastor, and he decided to take the law into his own hands, which I strongly, well, strongly, reports, so. I strongly, I strongly dislike. He should be, uh, he will burn in the ninth level of hell for betraying Exposing some kids of to his sex sheep. and drugs is no big deal. Dick Masterson, everybody, great stuff. Well, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the source of a lot of great uh, uh, media. So who am I to, to shit on it? Okay. Don't do it if you don't want to do it. How hard is that? Do you think drugs should be legal, Star? Um, I think it depends. I think that, um, uh, you know, alcohol and um, marijuana, I think, are, are fine. Um, I think even, like, when it comes to, like, harder drugs, like, even that, if, like, maybe five years ago I would have agreed with you guys that, like, oh, yeah, we should just, like, legalize So you know drugs. my position already. I'm the mod. I wasn't trying to state it. But yeah. me and Dick yeah. are actually in agreement that all drugs should be legalized. But, but I'm the mod, you, so I won't. One yeah. thing that I would say is that as soon as children are in your house, 
that that does give other people the right to make sure that you are not, especially if there are multiple reports about you, that you are not neglecting them. But, how, but you, by how much? How much? How much are they allowed? to? What, what kind of right do they have to come again, in and do multiple this? people, multiple people are reporting this to a mandatory reporter and that mandatory reporter passes that on their full names on that thing. Um, you know, to what end? Just, I mean, what, what kind of, what are we talking? Take the kids you away. Go and you, you, you go in no and stages, investigate, right? you mm-hmm. go in and investigate and depending on, on the Rumble. severity of what's going, going on. And then right. points home. you, you determine accordingly. And what, okay. You, so yeah. you would say that something went wrong with the process here. No, no kicking, Mm-mm. battering in the door at eight in the morning is going in and see what's going, going in to see what's going they on. They presented him Why? with a warrant. They presented him with a warrant. And he apparently, you know, threw it on he the said, ground. They I, said I, it was signed by a judge and he says that doesn't, that doesn't mean shit, which was honestly one of the most like Clint Eastwood type quotes. <laughs> I was like, damn. I mean, he's a lawyer. Uh, he should he know these things, He threw it on the ground. Right? He threw it on the ground. He's a lawyer. Uh-uh. I know you're not saying that the law is going to uh, be the arbiter of our morality. Are That's you, Star? That's all we have. Like, I mean, like, what do you expect? Like, what what else do we have? Uh, uh, morality. We have the, the law does Who not exist to tell that? us what is right and wrong. Who I enforces mean, when you're being moral and not moral? Who enforces when you're abusing your children or neglecting your children? That's the law. Unfortunately, it's not perfect, but it's what we have. Uh, I don't, if you can look at what happened in this case and say, this is great. I hope this happens to everyone. Um, I don't think it's great. I think it's sad, but it needed to happen. If you, if you, yeah, if it needed to happen, that's my problem with it. That's my problem at its core with all of this and with everyone cheering it on. It's uh, this did not need to happen the way it happened. And this is not helping anybody. If you're worried about kids, this, what happened here did not help them. I would say it's not moral to have coke and rifles around your kids and them staying with a family member is probably better than staying with their coked out dad who lets their mom get railed by other dudes. It's way, way worse to send uh, half of the cops in a small town to uh, bash in the door while a bunch of kids are home by uh, home by themselves than any sort of whatever watching anybody get railed or coke being in a couple safes in the master bedroom. It's way worse. It's, it's way, not even in the safes. There was there was coke in paraffin drug paraphernalia in the master bedroom, not in safes that had. Oh, there's a couple beers place. lying around. Come on, what are you gonna? No, what there was there were like cocaine for. There were like coke straws. It's my understanding that the coke was glass locked containers, up. glass containers, um, positive for cocaine. Um, Two grams. Looking here, it's like a six pack, um, but of coke. You've got. Five kids in the house. Sorry, there's multiple beer, there's alcohol are everywhere. under. Yeah, yeah, and that's not good either. It shouldn't well, be everywhere. I mean, what are you, what are you sending in the cops for everybody that uh, stops off at uh, AMPM on the way home from work on Friday? Like, wh- how there's how far do you want to how far do you want to pretend like, that these kids are getting abused when they're obviously not? I'm not saying they're getting abused, but I think that there's a problem where they are at least getting neglected. Like, and I think that's an issue. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Do you always take the government's word on everything? Like, what do you, Ukraine, COVID, Israel? You're like, yeah, government's right on all those things. We love all those guys. I mean, um, for like, my, like I have my, my opinions on, on things that I disagree with. Um, have you been but, arrested? Um, no, I have not been arrested. Oh, that might fall uh... off. <laughs> that well, could change your opinion on some things. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I don't do coke around children, and I don't. Um, I don't swing on. with married couples. Okay, so you want to start? I don't do. I don't do <laughs> vulgar either. Whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> putting your yeah, own dick in a cage. I, Can you imagine I, putting your own dick in a plastic cage? Not even a normal balls, cage, a plastic one, or your ball. Putting your balls in a cage. Big difference, okay? I don't want to yeah. put either of mine in a cage. Puffed, and he puts his balls in a fucking cage. Like, <laughs> so, so what, much though? More, There's, like, fucking nudists out so there. How like, much more so... degenerate can you be? He wants you to talk about the and he's than his own. That. Okay, he, he, he's the one who was, you know, grandstanding about degeneracy on his show, and then he's, in the meanwhile, getting <laughs> well, cuffed you know, and putting his own balls in a cage. Don't they, they always say you got to watch out for those people? Don't they say you always got to watch out for the ones that are so anti-degenerate? Uh, what they're up to at home? Should those parents be ready for cigarettes? Wait, wait, wait. Let me ask you this. Do you think that parents should be allowed to put the WNBA on at home. <laughs> uh, what do you mean by a WNBA? The Women's, the women's National there's Basketball there's a, Association. Yeah, there's now. a men's basketball league, but it's for women. 
I'm not gas surprised you haven't heard of it because you're their target demo. <laughs> Uh, no, it's I think the WNBA. I, I the it's the it's the NBA spinoff league for women. Is what it is. Oh, okay. I mean, really if, if they want is. to, do you really not? Want yeah, to, they I'm shocked. I'm kind of shocked. <laughs> no, like, you don't know sure. what the WNBA is. I wasn't sure is. if you were making a reference to something oh, okay. I didn't know. Some inside joke. Oh, okay. Or something. okay. No, it's just yeah. like more. You know, there's like ideological degeneracy also that's uh, pervasive in the country that um, you know I have a problem with. But I'm just joking. I mean, he may as well be you know uh, teaching his kids like you know, lesbian, lesbian separatism with the way that he's cucking himself. So, you know, like, well, you know, lesbians le need love too. Sure. He could be doing us all a favor. Um, I, I don't know. I hope, I hope that if you do have an addict, uh, if anybody has an addict that they don't call the cops on them anonymously. Well, um, you try to, we never, try to talk sorry, to them never. multiple times. You try to intervene. And at a certain point, I'm sorry, but if there are kids in the house and that person is unwilling to get help and unwilling to do anything to improve that situation, sometimes you need to call the cops. And it's not sad. without telling them. No, you can, you can, you can do it, but make sure you tell them. That's um, okay. If somebody is beating the fuck out of their kid, man. if they're in the middle of beating their kid, are you going to tell them, Hey, I'm calling the cops on you now. Or are you just going to call the cops? I mean, I would hope you would immediately say stop or I'm calling the cops. So they would stop beating the kid. Uh, but that's not what's happening. If they here. have a history what's of beating the kid. You're use. probably still going to call the cops. Like, you know, again, like, let them know. Um, you might be I wrong. Wouldn't, I wouldn't. I wouldn't let them know because then they will hide. Um, they'll try to hide the bruises. They'll try to start beating their kids in places where it isn't easily viewable. It's, um, it's they'll John Wayne after shit the really... after the CPS after CPS leaves, they will bust them up even more. They'll fucking you know they'll yeah. punch them in after that. Like cops, this is this is something that is you know well right, known well, that cops love this no knock John Wayne. You're stopping the bad guy shit, but they are not the good guys. You're enabling this shit with the. Uh, Oh yeah, they're gonna they're gonna cover up evidence if I, I don't if the, I don't get the cops the here right away. Um, but they're not. That's not what they're there for. They're there to arrest people and put them in prison. And you don't always and you don't always know what's going on, and you won't know once they show up because they will start lying to make arrests. That's their job. I'm cops not are saying allowed they're good to lie, the time, actually. So, but, so make, um, they, yeah, I'm not saying they're good all the time, you know, and I certainly have had criticisms in the past of certain police forces. But um, when it comes to, again, the welfare of children, um, I would say it's better safe than sorry. So, Call CPS. Don't call the cops. Ever. What do you think? What do you think? Who do you think is involved with that? Like, do you think, like... Well, a CPS you process. I you mean, call CPS the cops, and the CPS yeah. isn't CPS isn't called like by the cops after that. Yes, second to clean up, call CPS first. Do not call the cops directly. That is, that's a big no-no. CPS would come in first, and then if there was legal, like you know, reason to call, they'll the cops, make the determination. They, they would, they would call the cops. Uh, there, there are two separate processes there. There are uh, separate proce processes, but like the um, but when you call the cops, if it's something involving children, they will involve CPS. After they arrest you, yeah, and uh, take all your guns <clears throat> and your drugs. Yep, yeah, and your drugs. Okay, guns and drugs above children, guys. That's what we're learning tonight. Wait, 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 wait. Gun. Uh, children should have access to guns. There's a lot of pedophiles out there. Children should be sure, trained on um, guns. When you have a six or seven year old in the house, you think that they are capable of um, handling a gun that is under the bed, and like that they can just you know find one day. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, that, that's America, baby. Uh, seven year olds should be trained with a shotgun. Despite There's Aaron's there rage, should be. Uh, do you think that they're training the seven year old with a, a shotgun? Yes, I think that uh, there's shooting competitions for kids with guns. This is like part of Americana. Um, there's nothing wrong with, there's nothing Some more wrong with that. guns than there is steak knives. In you the house. still need to keep them um, safely secured away from children. I don't Under have a problem with children safe. being. No, it's not. There was it's a gun. Hold on. I want to I I clarify something. I know that the A logs are going to say I'm sweeping for Nick or whatever, but there was a gun lock on the six hour uh, AK underneath the bed, according to. Rick According to Ricada from the DM leaks, um, now that's if you take him at his I'm word. I'm not seeing and, that. Okay, well I'm that's not what. That in the that's what. That's I'm what not he seeing said. that in the report. He said there so was a gun I'm not going to trust. Okay, I don't know I'm if just I'm saying. Trust that. Okay, I'm just saying that's so what he's saying. Taking the cops' words over Nick's. Yeah, I mean this is. Yeah, why not? Yeah, the guy who's inconsistent who gets himself cucked while yelling about Keffels. Yeah. 
Is Not the most a, reliable narrator. Dude. Is this a defense for for Keffels, This whole thing? Are you you think that I would defend Keffels, bro? You really think that I would? I I think I'm I, I no, dude. I like literally had one of the biggest blowouts with her like a year or so ago. No. Uh, Star, we gotta have guns. What are you gonna do? If somebody breaks in, go you fiddling can have around guns. with keys. You can have guns without making them something that your kids can easily access, like uh, you well, know, that's a six-year-old kind of a parenting who's playing choice, with shit. Isn't it? No, 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 no. You gotta trust parents there to be able to make the right call with their kids. There are more children who accidentally injure. There are more children who accidentally injure themselves with guns at home than there are who actually use those guns in a self-defense situation. Totally fucking false. More people are using guns for self-defense than they I are. I didn't say kids people. I said children. I well, said children, children aren't going to be the ones pulling a gun out in the middle of the night when a white guy breaks into your house, are You're they? You're using no. that as an argument. You're using Swimming that as an argument. Swimming pools are more dangerous for kids than guns. We're not going to ban those. You don't have you a big fit about those because you, you are afraid of guns because they resemble a penis to you. Just admit it. I'm not afraid of guns. You are you are making the argument that children should have uh, training on guns, right? Yeah. That's not yes. the argument. That I don't disagree with you there. I'm fine with that. You okay. should have the gun still safely away from children, though. Like, well, that's you, not they inherently should not wrong, though. There's nothing inherently dangerous about Again, having a gun under your bed. Again, I already told you, the like sh there are way more kids who end up accidentally shooting themselves or shooting a sibling with guns at home than there are that actually use that gun in self-defense. Then kids using the gun in self-defense. Yes. Why the fuck would a kid be using a gun in the you master bedroom for self-defense? Stop using the argument. Stop using the fucking argument. Oh, no, it's for you to use for self-defense. So if somebody comes into your house, you reach under your you bed not and get your bad, gun. You said it's not necessarily a bad thing that these guns are, you know, uh, you know, easily accessible by the to kids. Parents. Well, no, I think parents. it is. No, 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 to parents. And easily accessible to kids does not mean under the master bedroom. It means under the kid's bed or in a place that a kid could get to. Parents' bedrooms are not uh, uh, free, uh, free roam territory for yeah, children. Five, That's five not play kids. plan. You, you think those kids aren't going to barge into your master bedroom? Well, I don't um, know if they're still you know, alive. Regularly. These kids are still fucking alive without uh, any bullet holes in them, aren't they? Most kids in America are just fine, even though the a country's teaming with guns. So I have level. to assume that parents are doing a good job on their own the without you uh, nagging them about where they're leaving their guns. Okay. All right, now let's take some callers. What do you think about that? Sure. Uh, also, I just saw this linked. Source close to law enforcement saying Rakeda made Aaron M. Holt is under investigation. Rakeda made Aaron M. Holt is under investigation. For I mean, look, it, I think charges. Aaron's a fucking pussy too. I think Aaron's a fucking pussy too, and he's getting cucked as well. So, yeah, they called him Rakeda's maid. Who do you think got well. cucked worse, Star? Oof. Does it matter when they're both getting cucked and one of them's putting a, you know, ball for his, you know, sorry, well, yeah, for his matters. balls That's on the willingly? Being fucked in the ass willingly? by a guy and fucking a guy in the ass. Which you one licked the, the other one? Which one licked the other one four times? <laughs> Come on, who do you think, who do you think got cucked harder? I actually don't know because which one, which one's wife said, oh, you're my soulmate to another man. Oh, oh yeah. That's the, that's the one who lost, right? <laughs> no I don't know. I think they're shit. both equally <laughs> cocked here. I think they're both equally <laughs> cocked. And I think that Nick Ricada being as hypocritical as he is, is probably making him uh, even more of a cock. So <laughs> you really don't like that hypocrisy stuff, right? You might be I a don't. conservative. Conservatives hate hypocrisy. I get along really well with conservatives, but um, I'm, I'm not this, conservative in pol political beliefs. So. Except for this crazy gun shit you're saying. Come on. Chat, smash your I'm not against April. gun. I'm, I'm not against guns, bro. I'm against children, you know, having easy access to them. Well, what's easy? They if I got to walk somewhere, away. if I got to walk across the room for my gun, that's not easy. Okay. And you're coming at me for the exercise shit, bro? Like, <laughs> maybe you need to sit the fuck down. Uh, believe me, I would love to always be. I, I want to lay down, but <clears throat> all right now. On the floor in here. Let's take a caller, and then I'll read some super chats as well. Um, let's see here. We can do calls again during the blood sports. Wow. Uh, all right, Johnny F one fifty, you're live on the kill stream. Go ahead and ask your question. Uh, yeah, good evening. I want to tell you, I work for a church. That oh has boy, a this guy. Attack. All right, now wait, wait, wait. Star, star, come on, let him talk first. I don't know if you know Sorry. him already or not, but go ahead. Oh, I know he. I what know did I do? <laughs> okay, look, I work for a church that has a daycare attached, and I have actually had to take many of the courses the daycare workers take in order to work around children. Okay, if that daycare worker thought that those children were in danger, they were mandatorily asked by their state 
to turn in those parents. If the pastor came to them looking for evidence to turn them in, that is a problem the pastor had with that family. Yep. And if you go biblically, the pastor should have approached Nick himself and addressed it within the church. That's we don't want right. to do that. We don't know that he didn't do that, though. We don't know that. And do I think that there's something wrong with a daycare teacher not doing the mandatory reporting? Absolutely. But we don't know it that is the pastor to, didn't try to talk to Nick. It is up to the daycare workers per, per view as to whether or not they deem that child in danger. Somebody went fishing sure. to that daycare worker to try and find evidence to turn on Nick you because they probably that. watched his live stream. You have stream. no idea about that. You, you don't I know that do the daycare worker. I do know that because worker, I know no, that daycare don't. workers are made for the poor people. The daycare time. worker could have gone to the to the pastor and said that they had a problem and it's they were did about what to do. They already can't do that. They have to report. I agree with you. They exactly. shouldn't have done that. They have to report. That's a trick. They should have reported. Yep. They should have reported. But well, I go to jail. do not go to jail. that. Before that, the church member should have gone to him and asked him to clean up his home life. You don't this was them know trying to get him out that. of that church. You don't yes, know that I he know didn't that. do that. You don't know that the pastor didn't do that. Well, that's just my opinion. So thank you, Ralph. Thank you. I appreciate you calling in, Johnny. Thanks for your uninformed opinion. <laughs> Sorry, you're on it. one tonight. Okay, now that guy sounded very masculine, like he was fit. Did he sound like he was masculine? He sounded like he he also puts his balls in a cage. So <laughs> he probably worked out today, unlike Star, who we, oh, we okay. don't know when she yeah, worked you, out. Yeah, did you? Was. Did you? Did you? Did you? When's the last time did. you worked out, Dick? I lifted weights today. So oh, you did? I okay. Only did yeah. bench and curls, the most manliest weights. So take that. Most manliest weights. Okay. All right. I've actually. I bet you well, looked like I'll you were guess. jerking somebody off while you were lifting them too. Yeah, I got a shake weight attachment for my dumbbells. Yeah. All right. Uh, now, uh, <laughs> go yeah. ahead. Uh, that guy, uh, it's connecting. Go ahead and unmute, unmute yourself, and then you can speak. Sorry, I'm tongue-tied there. You have to unmute yourself, though, or else you can't talk. That's the way it works on Twitter Spaces. Okay, go ahead. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Ask your question. It. Almost. Yeah, I almost blew it. Uh, how about this? We allow 16-year-olds to drive 1.5-ton vehicles on the road, but they can't watch kids in the house. That's a bit odd. Four, four children, it? four younger children. What happens yeah, when one of the kids I, needs I, to go to the hospital? What I'm, happens I'm when the, the rest of the kids of in the seven, house? I'm the youngest of seven kids. Okay. Uh, and if I'm the youngest you... of seven Wait, kids, start, and I was, allowed, I was allowed to be watched by my older sister while she was in high school. For many reasons such as that, it okay. didn't mess me up. Like I don't understand of, where you're coming from with that. That's if a one of your siblings up. had to go to the hospital, and your sister had to drive that sibling to the hospital. What happens to the rest of the kids in the house? She's getting trans surgery. She's got to go to the hospital. Something's gone wrong. Yeah, with the I dilator. Well, I did tell my sister when I was younger that I I wanted to get my dick cut off because I thought uh, I like princess this is dresses, irrelevant, but. You know, I didn't ask. Uh, I, didn't ask uh, I didn't ask about your personal, you know, trauma or whatever. Okay, I'm asking if one of your siblings uh, breaks a leg or starts having, you know, a seizure or something. Your sister has to take them to the hospital. What happens to the rest of your siblings? Wouldn't that be the case if other adults were in the house? If there are multiple adults in the house. One of the uh, one of the parents can stay with the kids, and one of the parents. Can yeah. Take okay. You can not say that too. Uh, what, what if two, not everybody what has if two, two parents? Kids. No, you're right. Well, even if they did have two parents, what if two kids break their legs and both parents have to leave? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Dude, ten I don't Indians. get where you're getting. <laughs> oh, we just, it's a Russian doll of people getting fucked up. Uh, could, what are you talking about? Could they just about? take all the it, kids it, in, a, in a vehicle? They could just all go together to yeah. the hospital, maybe. There you go, Ralph. There you go. That's a reason. Haven't you take. seen uh, uh, "Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead" star? They turned out fine. They all uh, learned a lesson. I, I don't know what that. I don't know what that is. All I know is this oh. guy on the on the call has outed himself as you know, wanting being an egg, basically. Um, you know, good good luck being on your journey. Being an egg, yeah. 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 Explain that. Journey. Star. Be successful in my personal. Don't worry. Class. Don't don't worry about it. it. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, I'm not. Don't worry. Uh, I just want to point out that this specific claim that a 16 year old watching his younger siblings is not that crazy. And that if you're going to give like a 16 year old, uh, 
I don't, okay, you could claim that's not fair to the kid that he gets, a, like I said, a hold of a one and a half ton on average vehicle and can drive 140 miles on the interstate. That's, that's not fair to the other people in the interstate. That's taking care, that's still very different than oh, taking care of Oh, that's very different than cooking siblings. mac yeah. and cheese for kids. <laughs> you're you're right. making a, you're different. making you're making meals for a uh, for five people. Okay, you're are you making oh, a, every yeah. single meal for five people? Like a, a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. How many days a week are you doing this? You have school on top of that. You have extracurriculars that's, on top of that. We're talking about one alleged. You night have friends. Where they went to the you casino. have friends. That's what we're talking about. Sorry, we're talking yeah, about yeah, like we're, we're, no, we're not. We're talking about these two getting high on coke and high on alcohol, and then their kids uh, supposedly don't know about it. Are you kidding me? Well, yeah, they but know. where are you and pulling this? Crazy. Like they're not eating out of your ass. It's not none of that's no, in the report. No, it's in the police report, dipshit. No, it's not. Where? Yes, it is. It's they went to a casino. That they're hungry. Oh, that they're. But not that they're getting left alone. The left alone thing was that they're left yeah. alone for one night. Okay, they're if they're getting you know, fucking high you know, off money. their asses with coke and alcohol, do you think that that is, we've established it that you don't think that that person is probably being the best parent? <sighs> I, aren't you like Indian or something? Don't you have like a hundred people in your family that kids are getting left with kids all the time? I mean, I'm Mexican and that happens. <laughs> Doesn't that happen to you? Yeah, well, we have um, we have extended family, so like yeah. grandparents will will watch people. Um, you know, you or you'll have like multiple people watching people. You know, but never kids. So, yeah. Um, if the what kids if are old enough, you have them. But, <laughs> yeah, well, my grandparents are, but yeah, but I mean, like, look, like yeah, uh, mine it is, were too. Uh, apparently, but, I but also you'll find my parents being abusers. Um, uh, uh, okay, as what I would say is that you will not find in the Indian community many people getting high off of Coke and alcohol at the same time. And, and oh, with their I, kids but that's present. Not the claim, that's not the claim I... That's not the claim I'm uh, arguing about. I'm claiming no, that No, no, I'm talking with Dick. Dick asked me... Dick asked me specifically about, like, Indian people and lots of kids. Yes, there are lots of kids. Yes, but, you know, th we, pretty strict families. So, yeah. Well, all right. Well, thanks, Ralph, for letting me on. I'm sorry I was a dipshit and uh, didn't unmute myself. So. No, no, that's fine. Uh, uh, I'm still learning Twitter spaces myself, but it's great because we can have callers again during the debates, which is what I really want uh, and with guests. Dick, so. I love you, man. Thanks, buddy. Love I love you. you, too. I appreciate you calling uh, in. All right. I don't think you did. 0.1% so. okay, of no, India I don't, uses it's, cocaine. 1% uh, uh, of India. 0.1%. Okay. 0.1%. So How many people are in India? Like 50 billion? Yeah, how many people in India of those Coke users go to America? I mean, I don't know, 0.1%. Probably not, probably not many of them are achieving high enough um, uh, excellence in their fields or in their in their schooling to even make it to America. So, yeah. All right, now let me take another caller here. Uh, we'll, we'll go through the Super Chats too. Um, not Koof. 100 uh, million, 1. 140 million. Sorry, that's like half mm -hmm. of America. Indians are doing how many? Well. How many of those Coke users are Oof. are like being are uh, coming to America? How many of them? How many of them are what achieving you? high enough standards to um, to saying, fill the requirements in, in in to to become? Are you like saying there are no system? Indian Coke users in America? No, I'm not saying that. I'm okay. saying there, there right. probably are, but you know, on okay. average, like uh, the average Indian family is pretty fucking strict. Okay. So, all right, let's take this caller. Not Koof, go ahead. You're on the kill stream. Hello. Uh, thank you, Dick, for not killing yourself uh, over this debate. Uh, Star, um, you brought up the issue of Nick Rakita's gun under his bed. Now, mm -hmm. uh, based off of the report from the police that was the only loose we'll say unsecured firearm found on during the raid everything else was found in the garage all the mm -hmm. extra ammo was found in the garage there was some ammo under the bed but uh what i'm getting at is you you think this is a danger for children now me as a were... gun owner and uh i know many other gun owners who live out in the country uh mm -hmm. keep their guns out in in areas where you could argue kids could get their hands on them now i would mm -hmm. i would not say that personally i would not say it's a good idea to just have them 
lying around, so to speak, but it mm-hmm. doesn't seem like that's what's happening here with Nick. It was specifically under his bed in the master bedroom, presumably, I would presume for sense, because that's a common thing amongst uh, gun owners, you know, keeping the bed, a uh, gun under their bed or wherever. Um, but my argument is I don't believe the mere presence of a firearm is inherently dangerous to a child. You're talking about a six-year-old, uh, their youngest is six, I believe. How yeah. is a six-year-old supposed to load an unloaded firearm, uh, rack the charging handle of this SIG AR, and then go on a shooting spree? Maybe the teenager, or maybe if they have maybe like a 12-year-old boy or whatever could figure out how to do it. But it doesn't, I, I would wager that none of those kids, even if they were to have access to the firearms, would be putting themselves in danger at all. So uh, I'd just so, like to know what your yeah. thoughts are on that. So I would say that we're not talking about unsafe gun practices out in the country. We're talking about unsafe gun practices with Nick Ricada. Okay. Nick Ricada is a well established guy. He's got a successful YouTube channel. He certainly has enough money to be securing all of his guns. Um, and, you know, even one unsecured gun can still be dangerous to children, right? Maybe the six year old can't load that gun, but maybe the 10 year old can. Maybe the 12 year old can. Maybe one of them doesn't realize how. Uh, how powerful guns are, right? Um, so, like, uh, yeah, you, maybe it was only one gun, but it was only one. It was only one gun, guys. That was unsecured. That, like, you know, like it, it's kind but, of. It, uh, plus, uh, we've got the talking. added thing. We've got the added thing of him, you know, being uh, doing coke to the extent that he is doing alcohol to the extent that he is, right? It's not just one thing. He, these are multiple um, contributing factors. And again, Nick Ricada, not some person out in the country. Understand, Wait, but uh, it's well, not yeah, just Nick, some is, Nick lives out in not the country. Not some random person. What I'm saying is not some random person. This is Nick Ricada. This is somebody mm. who's very successful, okay, but, who but has it, the money to secure that gun. Okay, but Star, uh, it's we're talking about a gun used for self defense. If you're using it right? in self defense, you want it to be readily accessible. I mean, uh, I think you could come up with whatever, uh, you know, fancy schmancy, uh, super, uh, super gun deployment system. Believe you me, all men would want something like that, but practically it's, it's just, uh, how are you going to, how are you going to build that sort of system? Right. Okay, so uh, it just makes much more, more sense. To, hold yeah. on, that, that it makes more sense to just have the gun there just in case if you're someone who's thinking, well, uh, on, on that off chance that one, uh, that, that, uh, wor- on the worst day of your life, if that comes, uh, comes if that worst day comes, you want to be prepared. Nick is someone who's a gun guy. He's probably trained. I would reckon he's uh, at least you know before we heard all this, most people would probably presume him to be a responsible gun owner. He's probably taught his oldest son how to treat firearms yeah. well, so I doubt his oldest son would questions. be a danger. Yes, I have a couple of questions. So, God. do you think? that Nick Ricada seeing his ceiling cats is going to be effective at uh, protecting himself with a gun uh, in that state? Yeah, the gun does most of the work. When he's ceiling, seeing ceiling cats? Star, you know he's not seeing ceiling cats. That's some meme Josh Whatever the fuck he's seeing whatever the fuck. He's just looking up like I look, that's a fucking air conditioner. Do you think I'm seeing a cat when I'm looking up and changing the temperature in my room? Because I have this control to control. Well, I don't know what he's looking at, but ceiling cats, I mean. Secondly. Because I'm changing the temperature in the room. Anyway, go ahead. There are, uh, secondly, there are, again, I will reiterate this, there are more kids who injure each other in, uh, every day How many? there are kids who use those guns as, in self-defense. How many? How many with, kids are injured I don't know guns. how many. Don't you I want know to that, know? Guess, guess, guess. Guess how many? No, how doesn't, many? Nobody doesn't else said anything. How many? How guess. many? I yes, it does. Yes, no, it, it does. Doesn't. Because it's, otherwise you're matters, freaking out over something that's not dangerous likely, at all. Guess. It's way more likely for a child to shoot themselves or one of their siblings than to use that gun in self-defense. Star, guess how many kids are injured with firearms a year? Just guess. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know that it, it's Just really pick a number. The proportion. The proportion uh-huh. is number, what it is. Star. Uh, pick the number I, that sounds right. Why does the number matter? It doesn't matter. The statistic is what. 
is. The statistic is still that most of the time, children are more likely to hurt themselves or hurt a sibling than use that gun uh, in self-defense. Uh, what, what's the likelihood? Do you think Nick's children would have shot themselves or each other? I don't know. What's the likelihood? One in ten chance. Does it, that doesn't matter. Does it matter when it's uh, irresponsible? Well, you're talking, about, one stances, you're talking gun. about stances and likelihoods and all the stats, but you can't tell yeah. me the likelihood that the presence of an AR under a man's bed. Uh, He's got five you, kids. You can't tell me the likelihood. Two of them are the, the two of them are the age where they will barge in uh, into anything, right? Um, because that's what kids do. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and then they'll just load 556 five, into the magwell, rack the slide, and then just point it up into the, their mouths? Come on, that's ridiculous. According At worst, to the CDC, you can maybe between, say... <laughs> between 2003 and 2021, 1,262 kids in the U.S. Uh, died from an uh, what was the, what was the year? Injury. 2003, 2021. And, now, and I'll give you this okay, stat. If we're looking wait, at 2021, wait, wait, this... if we're looking at 2021, we actually have 4,752 gun-related deaths. Okay. That's, that's, kids. that's well, black guys so, killing each other. That's not yes, no, kid. wait, let me, let me, this is, let me just... This is unintentional shootings in 2023, according to every town. At least 157 people were killed and 270 injured last year in unintentional shootings by children. That's none. That's right. out of that's, none. That's not none. That's 272 of, many. Well, that's out of 350 are. million people, though, is what he's saying. Uh, it's it's too many. I'm sorry. Well, what if there was only three? How many? Like how many? What are you talking about? No one should give a shit hey, about sir, kids. And one child raised is way too many. I mean, I, I don't want to see any get harmed. Yes, I agree, but I but I. Again, well, I'm the mod. Again, I'm just saying that statistically, you are that's who rare. Earlier in this conversation, Dick, you said that somebody who is high on coke and alcohol probably isn't being the best parent. I would All say those that probably, are high. probably they shouldn't have a gun unsecured under their bed if they're in that state and they can't watch their pro children properly. Nah, that's when you need it the most. When you're drunk, when you're <laughs> shit faced and highs, when you need that gun the most, that's when you're probably going to have it on you. So that there's no risk of the kids getting accidentally hurt on their own. All right, caller. Thank you. You gotta for admit that's there. a tiny amount of peep of kids, though. Thank Star. you. you gotta for admit. It's, it's small in comparison, but it's no still problem, it's still too many, and it's still oh, irresponsible. Give me a break. It's like a tenth of scissors injuries a year. It's like none. Okay. How, okay. how many uh, how many kids get uh, trans every year? Uh, I don't know. A couple hundred. Like the what? Same what per, yeah. What what percentage of of the general child populace do you think are trans? You know what? I bet it's actually the same amount. It's... Gun injuries and trans kids. I bet it's the same. I bet it's more trans. Yeah, kids, honestly, and we and we still and we still care yeah. about a DIY HRT, right? We still care I don't about give DIY a shit about bathtub, trans kids. With bathtub estrogen or whatever. <laughs> Not me. Okay, you well, it, the wrong maybe train. maybe you don't care, but Nick Ricada cares, and Nick Ricada cares about that small percentage of children. Maybe he should care about another small percentage of children. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's. I think it's more trans kids. I don't have that stat on hand though, but so I can't say. But I, I would. Imagine. I don't think it is. I mean, but well, I'll look it up while, while we take this next. I could call. be wrong. Uh, all right. Um, but it's still not a huge percentage. It's still like, well, yeah, it's like still small. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, all right. JD power, go ahead. Un you're unmuted. Talk. Hey. Hello. Um, so I've just noticed like every time that there's like some mild speculation from Stardust, she always gives Nick Ricada like the like worst possible interpretation. So you like, you keep saying that they're going to barge into the room, blah, blah, blah. Like what, is there not a lock? Like I imagine like the multimillionaire guy with that much cocaine would buy a lock for his door. He and then, like the other gun, thing with like the so, sixteen-year-old. I mean, well, like I mean, why would you lock? Why would you lock the gun when you can just lock the door? But um, another thing too, okay. keep saying that the the sixteen-year-old is gonna have to abandon the other kids to drive somebody to the hospital. It's like call nine one one. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> like that. That's like I don't know. That's what my parents and you taught call me. Call nine one one and wait for the ambulance to show up, and they live in the country. So. Yeah. All right. Now let me read this. Yeah, let me read this. Let me read this. Approximately 1.6 million people ages 13 and older, 0.6% uh, of the population identify as transgender in the United States, according to new okay. estimates. Okay. Well, then I would still say that, yeah, Nick Ricada cares about that, right? Why the fuck wouldn't he care about Well, that's 300,000 versus 300 is all I'm saying. I'm just putting that out there. Okay. Doesn't matter. It's still a small percentage, 0.6% of the population. 18,000 kids started taking puberty blockers between 2017 and 2021. 
Ooh. Now that's on purpose. That's not parents left some puberty blockers lying around and the kids decided to start mm -hmm. taking them. That's, yeah, and that's different than identifying as trans too. So that's even more sure. Yeah, that's further down the it's line. It's a lot. Yeah. Ooh. It's again 0.6% <laughs> of the population. If we care about DIY hormones or whatever the fuck that Nick cares about, then he should probably care about locking up his gun. Well, Nick's not here. I'm not gonna make Nick's argument on his behalf. No, you don't have to. All right, caller, what else you got? We got a couple more callers on um, the super chat. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Thanks, Ralph. Uh, thanks, Dick, for not killing yourself. You're welcome. Appreciate it, brother. Uh, all right, now let's see if I can. Now, what are the leading causes of child death? I don't know. You'd have to look that up. Um, Great car accidents. Most likely. Um, <clears throat> that's got to be high up there. Um, now, uh, um, unmute yourself, Robert, and, you can, and then you can speak. Hey, guys, what's up? What's up? Um, yeah, I guess out of all this stuff, uh, I, I kind of been a little harsh on Nick. It's a little hard to hear you through the spaces, so I don't know if you're talking right now. Yeah, you, you're talking. But, uh, we can hear the you. The one can. thing that I'm having problems with, uh, or at least the, the biggest issue I have with this whole situation is Nick uh, letting the cops bust through the door. I don't know if there's some legal strategy there or something. Just wanted to see if uh, Dick had any um, thoughts on that. Uh, maybe it's a strategy or something that I don't know about. Yeah, I, I think it's if the where if the warrant is bogus, you can if you let them in, yes. like if you open the door, then yes. they can say, "Well, the warrant sucked, but you let us in, so it's That's still right. allowed." That's correct. I think. Yes. Okay, so there is like a reason there. It's not just him losing his mind. No, there's a reason. Okay, then I kind of have to retract some of the anger I've had. That I, that thing's just been sticking in my head. Uh, anyways, you guys have a good one. Thank you. I appreciate that. See ya. Um. Yeah, because there, I, I'll, I'll just talk about something real quick because I had something and um, technically there wasn't jurisdiction um, over uh, – they didn't have jurisdiction over me uh, in this legal matter. And I signed something saying I would appear, and even though they didn't have jurisdiction since I had signed something saying I would appear, it gave them jurisdiction. And that was before oh. I had an, an attorney, right? And my attorney was challenging all that and stuff, and anyway, it got worked out. Um, but if I hadn't assigned that, they never would have had jurisdiction in the first place. So there's legal things like that um, where, yeah, if the warrant ends up getting overturned, if he had let them in, they would said, well, you let us in anyway. Uh, and so that could, you know, work to, to the police advantage. Um, all right, now uh, this will be the last call unless another wants to raise their hand. Uh, go ahead, Cab. Hey, thanks for having me on, Ralph. It's been a long time. And uh, awesome. Dick, I was going to talk about, you know, their very favorite topic, but we're going to going to kind of give some more religious context and uh, ecclesiastical context for the ongoing matter. I know how much you love that big guy. So, <laughs> so, but typically, and I, I'll speak from this as an Orthodox Christian that for some reason listens to all this and enjoys this part of the internet. But uh, so typically within the Orthodox Church, you know, when it's revealed that there's a serious kind of ongoing child abuse or neglect occurring within a household, our priests do consult with the bishop, and the bishop will reach out to local law enforcement. Uh, you know, the church is one aspect of life, and it's spiritual, while the state occupies the other half. As the physical, two parts of a whole, in symphonia, one is only just apart from the other. Um, child abuse and neglect is obviously shunned and condemned behavior. Uh, both have serious consequences spiritually and legally. Um, but if we're, and that's kind of just lay this religious context to the equation. Um, now, now that I've established that, I will say this. I do agree with Dick. I also get the nagging suspicion that altruism and honest concern probably wasn't the sole motivating factor uh, in how this whole situation was handled. Uh, there was numerous points that uh, things were not handled correctly, especially by um, the preschool teacher, uh, as somebody who has a Anonymous background $5 in destination. elementary childhood education. For popularizing this ridiculous debate style, where we talk right. in circles for hours at so, a time. I know the caller could hear that, but they couldn't. Go ahead, caller. I'm sorry. Go ahead. And I appreciate the yeah, super chat, and I'm going to read all those out, but go ahead. Yeah, as, as somebody that has a background in elementary childhood education, um, I will say that you know, we are required to report um, suspicions of abuse or abuse, uh, you know, to law enforcement. Uh, these are serious matters. Um, you know, I, I don't know why they would just go to a pastor. I, I don't know if that's just a thing in Protestant like churches or cults. I, I don't really know how they do it in their whole denominational structure, but that's a very bizarre thing to do. Um, it, it almost kind of reeks of like 
we're trying to keep this internally in house. We don't want the the, uh, the kind of controversy to be associated with our church, associated with our congregation, uh, not a particularly large congregation. I think Nick is probably a you know, very you know uh, wealthy portion uh, financially of the tithes that probably came in. Um, you do have to take a lot of these into consideration on kind of the politics of the local church. Um, and I'm wondering if they just didn't want that controversy to be associated. Well, he with talked that. shit about I, the I church don't... on air on his show several times. Um, I, I don't know if people know that, but I actually saw him saw clips of that. Um, so, yeah, yeah that how much of that was well. because somebody yeah. tried to talk to him about? Well, I don't know. That's anything. speculation. I don't know. I'm just saying that. Um, yeah, this is all speculation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, it's. Um, all of it, I, yeah. I don't think it was purely altruistic or in the most honest manner. I I, I totally see where Dick is coming from and. As somebody who is very religious and normally holds almost an opposite view of Dick on a lot of these matters, I actually agree, and I probably agree with him more here than uh, anyone else present on the panel. Um, now, I will say, as kind of the last bit of caveat to this, I think all of this is largely irrelevant. Uh, I think the quantity of cocaine drugs present at home, uh, with the alleged neglect of the children uh, by what sounds like multiple witnesses and observations from law enforcement. Um, are going to be the chief deciding factors, and I, I don't, uh, I don't think it's looking good for Nick either way. So, will be fun to watch though. Why did God give us all this cocaine, sir? Why did He do this to us? Uh, I'm, I don't know, Dick. Yeah, cocaine. You know, it's uh, quite enjoyable, unfortunately, from what I'm seeing from all of these uh, personalities being involved with it. I myself have never partaken. I'm going to have to the experience of that with you. Ethan, <laughs> so maybe no, Adam. No, 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 uh, we don't do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Never, not even once. Never. <clears throat> All right. it's, it's been enjoyable to see the sector on fire once again. Uh, the fires are on the horizon. The three kings have returned. The thrones have laid empty for far too long. Uh, it's been quite enjoyable, boys. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. And we have gotten uh, a little bit of a resurrection. You know, a lot of people counted me out. Dick always always, always holds on to his Rafa coin because uh, he knows <laughs> there'll be a, a resurrection uh, sooner or later. There may be another burnout, and, too. But <laughs> I always stay Rafa coin. Dick, I got it, diamond yeah. hands. Yeah, he's got diamond <laughs> hands, man. Uh, I right. would like to say one thing before I leave, though. Dick, it's very admirable that you stick by your friends, though. That That is a very admirable thing that you do. I have seen you on multiple occasions. I don't agree with you on most things, and I'm not exactly a regular uh, you know, viewer of your program, but I always see you on here defending your friends, and that is a very admirable quality, sir. So uh, good on you. Hey, what are friends for, buddy? Have a good one. Hey, that is very true. Take it easy, guys. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Uh, all right. Uh, a couple more callers, and I'm going to speed run through. Um, actually, let me bring this caller in. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. AV, go ahead. Unmute yourself. Can we hear you? We can't hear you. I wanted to hear from you. Okay, mute yourself for a second. And figure, see if you can figure it out. Uh, you might be, you might be on Bluetooth or something. Okay, now you're unmuted. It says, no, you're still muted. Actually, I might have to get going soon. Just uh, FYI. Yeah, we're about so. to, we're about to wrap. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, hold on, I'm getting a mess. Well, that's uh, I couldn't hear you. Let me see. Um, okay, it says you can speak. You should be able to. Um, uh, okay, I'm not sure why. You know what? We'll just try that again. Yeah, rejoin and then try again. Okay. Uh, all right. We'll speed run these. Carmen, speed run. Lightning round. Go. Unmute yourself. Go. Lightning round. Hey, what's up, Rafa? How you doing? Doing great. Okay. Uh, two questions for Stardust. First, if you could go back in time and give baby Hitler a gun to kill himself, would you? <laughs> and two, can we see your feet? Uh, okay. So, um, one, um, whew, that's a hard one, actually. Would I give baby Hitler a gun to shoot himself? <laughs> You know, he yeah. might not kill himself with that gun. You got to be careful. Then you're gonna be <laughs> yeah, that's true. He gave Hitler their first gun. Yeah, that's very true, actually. Maybe what if he accidentally, just, shoots, just for that accidentally shoots his brother or something? Uh, but anyway, go ahead. Yeah. 
you know, maybe just with that reason alone, like Dick makes a good point there. Maybe, maybe with that reason alone, maybe not. I don't know. So, uh, Fair enough. uh number two, uh, no, yeah, uh, answer is no. Fuck. So, all right. Hey, I, I, I shot my shot. Thanks, Ralph. All right. Thank you as well. Uh, okay. Now let's try, uh, okay. Back to the listener. Let's try AV again. Cause, uh, okay. Now can you hear me AV? You could hear before. That's crazy. I don't know why it switches. Um, I'll just leave you there, speaker, and we'll see if you can eventually uh, get it going. Uh, go ahead, uh, rip an riponomics. Or oh, wait, uh, let's see. I'm here. Oh wait, you're here. Okay, go ahead. Yes, go ahead and speak. So I have two. First of all, and I may be mistaken about this because I'm not a Minnesota lawyer, but my understanding is that where there are illegal drugs in the home, in the presence of children, there is a presumption under the law of child endangerment. The guns seem like a throwaway charge are going to just be added to a sentence, and which sucks. But I don't think the assertion is that having guns in the home is inherently dangerous to a child. I wouldn't even My say that question, myself. Right, but. Even having a gun under your bed. And I think I saw a screenshot of something somewhere where he said there was some sort of trigger lock on it. I live in New York. You basically can't have guns here ever. So... I don't really know that much about them, but my next question is for, I don't know, the girl, I don't know your name, Startup. but yes. Did you honestly say it's unfair to have a 16 year old babysit for his siblings or her siblings? Uh, when it's four younger siblings, um, I think that, yeah, especially given the state of the parents. Yes. Given the state of the parents, I mean, Teenagers have been babysitting since the beginning of time. Like, on what planet is it yes. irresponsible to have a 16-year-old who's perfectly 16... capable of taking care of, of children? I mean, I'm not saying leave the kid there for three weeks in charge of the household, but... No, and again, I, I would say that this is uh, this is not a 16-year-old taking care of, like, one kid, right? This is a 16-year-old in charge of four other kids, and um, I think that is significantly different, especially when the parents are frequently getting high. Okay, so the problem is really the parents getting high, which it's a multitude of do things, in close. So. I mean, here, I have a question, too, are, and obviously speak generally. Are you, where are you from broadly? Like a major city? Like the DC area? The DMV. Washington. Yeah. I spent some I time mean, there once against my will, but go ahead. You know, good old Midwestern values. People have more than one kid and have their teenagers babysit. People have four or five kids and teenagers babysit. I mean, it's a completely But they're also thing. not high like frequently. They're no, also not so high frequently. But the kids aren't well, high, I mean, though. The kids no, aren't I'm high. Talking about the, and parents. Not, the parents aren't high frequently. They're gone. So the problem isn't that they're leaving a teenager in charge of their siblings. The problem is parents doing drugs in the presence of their children, which is why Nick has found himself in this predicament, allegedly. With that said, like inferring there was something wrong done because he had his teenage child babysitting for the other kids is absurd. And it kind of shows that you live no, not not just for, I'm not talking about the one situation. I'm not talking about one I'm not talking about one situation, so right? Like $1 well, on if it were just one time like okay, I think it's kids. a little bit much, Five but kids in um, 10 years, but we're talking about again, three you know, two 12. people who are uh, supposedly not feeding them frequently, supposedly, you know, high and having weird sex stuff in their house. Um I don't give a fuck about the one time at the casino. I, I care about the uh, multiple times where these parents are not there mentally. Of and um, yeah. I mean, I suppose maybe I misunderstood your point, but to sit there and say that these to be fair, kids, I think I wasn't you know, with it. So. Fair. And I don't necessarily know that we have the facts to say that these kids were like, horribly neglected or you know left dirty all the time i mean obviously mm -hmm. there's some involvement with some other individuals in this case who quite frankly have exposed their own children to drugs admittedly so on stream mm -hmm. in the recent days 
And there's clearly an ax to grind there. So just because a kid says, you know, I've been in these clothes since yesterday at 9 a.m. when a police officer shows up, maybe the kid was still in the clothes and slept in at that hour. Sure, that's possible. But also, again, we've got like multiple people talking about these kids being in the same clothes for three to four days, right? This is why I always encourage kids to take their clothes off so this kind of thing doesn't happen. (laughs) All right, Dick. I am keeping children away from you. Dick. (laughs) uh, You can babysit my kids. When I'm opening a daycare. I'm opening a daycare. I got to <laughs> Vito is going to be the yeah. co- co-chairman. <laughs> it's LA, so no one gives a fuck what happens here. Uh, uh, Same goes for New York. All right, Ivy, you got anything uh, else? I got nothing. All I right. just, like, this is wild. That new, new friend here has some wild opinions. Well, that's a wild and wacky business. Uh, you say. agree. You agree with some of them, so. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you do. You just did. So I mean. All right, I'm starving, Ralph. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to. I'm about to wrap. Go, go eat. I gotta go Thank eat, you. Stardust, because I'm All so right. fucking fat. All right, now yeah, you me... know what? Maybe I'm hungry too, Dick. Maybe I'll fucking eat you. Let me get shut this. The fuck up, you stupid Whoa. fat fuck. I'm fatter than you. You'll never be as fat as me. All right, now let me just just give me this this last caller, and then I just want to speed run the super chats only because I promised people that I would. Uh, okay. Please, uh, and I appreciate you giving me so much time. I didn't expect it to go this long, really. Um, okay, uh, Ripponomics, go ahead, speak, unmute yourself. But you gotta hurry because I gotta. Hey, yeah, go um, hey, uh, sorry, sorry, Ralph. So, um, this is a question for the woman. Um, quick, quick question. Uh, what? year did the uh did the civil war happen give me some approximate years the civil war yeah just 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 just, a, just pick a pick a year for the for the uh for the civil war and, and any year just just go ahead um i think it was don't look it up um i think it was like 1860 uh, and then uh, go ahead, go ahead and wor- World War One. Go ahead. World War One. Um, was without looking it up. Uh, yeah, you you can do it. It was eighteen sixty one, by the way. But you were close. Go ahead. Um, why are we asking these things? <laughs> I'm I'm curious. Are they relevant to this topic or? It's like 1900s, right? Uh, yeah, the, yeah, very, uh, very relevant, right? very relevant. No, no, it's, no, it's okay. No, you're good. All right, thank you, caller. You got anything else? Uh, I love you, Ralph. <laughs> thank you. I love you too. All right, have a good one. Uh, All right, bye. Bye, bye. All right, let, let me uh, speed run through these. Uh, now, uh, Tinty says, "Girl math is frustrating." Star is comparing uh, around one percent to point. Zero 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 six percent six magnitudes of difference. Star is great, what but women of, uh... but women just can't comprehend math. Is what is what that super chat said. Okay, what percentage uh, of people are are addicted to coke in America? These nuts. That percentage. Nice, nice one. That I I could not uh, tell you because I don't have the uh, the stats on hand for that. Um, hey Dick, when did nine eleven happen? Oh man! <laughs> yesterday feels like yesterday. All right, I'm gonna speed run these. Bokovich says that, uh, this only happened because Nick Nick's a Protestant. The Catholic Church would never report child abuse to the police. <laughs> okay. Uh, Daniel Larson Stan says my parents did coke all the time in front of me as a kid, and I turned out fine. Uh, Assmaster says uh, based where do I sign up for cocaine class? Anonymous says ask Scotty Scheffler if you can trust the police rep- uh, reports, and he's actually a golfer. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I guess, or no, it was just last week, wasn't it? Uh, got arrested on all kinds of um, charges, second degree assault, and class C felonies and stuff. Uh, and it ended up being called a big misunderstanding. Uh, so um, that was uh, that was his point there. Um, now, um, okay, now let me go through the next page here. Um, the pastor. Can I respond to one of those? Sure, if you'd like. Okay, the person who said I turned out fine, clearly not, okay? Like, you're, what are you watching right now? You're watching, like, three idiots talking on a random other idiot, okay? But you're not fine. You didn't turn out okay. Sorry. 
Okay. Um, I didn't do enough coke, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anonymous says the pastor must have the power of foresight to predict that Nick would have an ounce of coke and a baggie of heroin in his room. Now I don't know that there was heroin there, um, but it well, does. What's God for then? Isn't that what he's? Isn't that the whole tagline of the fucking church? <laughs> Is curious. I don't know. It's curious how this all happened. I'll, I'll say that. Um, and uh, there's speculation about who might have engineered this. Anyway, um, uh, Anonymous says the Stardust thinks that, well, I asked that earlier. Uh, Anonymous says Masterson has been throwing 95 mile per hour fastballs all night, all time performance. Uh, oh. He said there. Uh, Revan JJ says Dick is going hard and slamming his points home. Daniel Larson Stan says I should state that Nick Ricada is where he is. Where, where he is now because he wasn't exposed to an adventurous life early on um, is, is a comment there. Uh, JD says, cigarettes kill more people a year than blow. Kids usually smoke their first smoke from their parents' pack. Should, should those parents be rated for cigarettes? I don't think those parents should allow those cigarettes to be smoked by their kids. I mean... Well, how are you gonna stop that? Master thirty three. I mean, it's a very, very different. Fuck you, from cut coke, all though. KS viewers. Are Cigarettes well are chats. way more dangerous than cocaine. Way more. When your parent, it, I'm sorry, but when your parent is like high out of their mind, that's like in the present moment, and you're a kid, that's more dangerous for that kid. Oh man, um, uh, alcohol and uh, McDonald's, like eating too much, are way. Yes, but these way, are way long. These are long term things, right? These are long term things. But like, if we're talking about like, um, your parent is high out of their mind, and you just like broke your leg, and there's nobody else around, like, you know, like yeah, I think that there's uh, there's a difference here. So I don't think the uh, they've studied this stuff. Like the harmful effects of alcohol hurt other people more than any other drug by far. Um, uh, yeah, I don't like alcohol. I don't. I don't like it. So but it's legal. So it's Coke legal, yeah, legal. but I don't, I don't like it, and I don't think people should have it easily accessible to their kids. So, you better stay the hell away from that stuff, Star. All right, now Harkness it shows like <laughs> twice a year. So Harkness show says, despite Aaron's rage, he's a rat. Uh, Nick put his balls in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> he did he put his balls in the cage i mean like both of them are cucks but yeah like don't get me wrong they're both cucks so ass master says my four-year-old robbed me with a gun uh <laughs> yeah you never know when four give me the wi-fi codes that. give me the parental codes i gotta get my nut <laughs> Anonymous says Destiny should be crucified for popularizing this ridiculous debate style where we talk in circles for hours at a time. Well, I like it. Uh, <laughs> uh, JD Power says, what are the age difference of the kids? Five kids in 10 years. There's bound to be two or three, two or maybe three kids above 12. Non-issue is what he says. I don't know the exact um, numbers on that, but um, Assmaster33 says, fuck you cunt this is him saying that all kill stream <laughs> all kill stream viewers are well adjusted chads uh is what he said there uh and do we like, have i any... would have the same thing anybody who watches me i would say the same thing you were not okay like you were not normal so yeah. Yeah, now, you guys are fine now uh any final thoughts and uh, i'll let uh star to start off with her final thoughts since i let her start off at the uh beginning um, I guess, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just like a little bit disappointed. I expected some stronger stances against uh, child abuse and getting cucked, you know, like uh, I just thought that you guys would be really, really against, especially getting cucked. So, yeah. Dick, uh, final thoughts? Well, guys, uh, say no to God, say no to women. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you and good night. <laughs> thank you, sir. I appreciate your time. <laughs> Uh, Thank you this, for having us. This was a damn good one. Both of you, uh, Stardust, Dick Master. Oh, promote your stuff. Tell people where to find you. Dick Notch Show, uh, Biggest Problem. Show. Go to our YouTube and add us, Biggest Problem. Uh, this was a lot of fun, Stardust. Thank you. Yeah, it was, it it was. was fun. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate the ability to argue like this with somebody who's not going to get super offended at me. So, Very yeah. cool. And I enjoyed it. Stay away well. from the ball, though. <laughs> Thank you both. I appreciate it. Farewell. A Smaster 33 sent yeah. $1 on Rumble. I agree your viewers are retarded stardust. You got it in right at the very end. Now that. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.